Hello Sagittarius, welcome to the Manjula Awakening or welcome back if you are an existing subscriber. So today I am in a different setup, so please forgive the echo. I do not have my microphone, but hey, we're going to roll with it. Um, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, as well as Venus. I would also give this video a check if any of those placements fall in your ninth house as well. Sagittarius, this is going to be your full moon uh, in Cancer reading. So I'm going to pull one oracle and then we'll dive right into it. Before I uh, dive into the messages, I do want to invite you guys to hit the subscribe button as we are currently doing a giveaway. We have three beautiful decks that we are giving away as part of uh, once we reach a thousand subscribers. Now you don't see those because I am in a different setup, guys. Um, but uh, once we reach a thousand subscribers, we will be giving that away. All right, Spirit. So the um, Oracle card that came out is your dreams need a practical plan. So this is what the full moon is trying to let you know. It's trying to bring in some practicality so that you can bring um, some type of manifestation into fruition. Um, what you need to let go of is the death card in the nine of swords. So there is definitely this need to transform your thought pattern, the way that your thoughts work. It is um, asking you to reflect on that so that you can like there is some needing to release that. Um, how can you reach your full potential under this full moon? Spirit, how can Sagittarius reach their full potential under this moon? Thank you. So I have the Hermit card, the King of Wands, ooh, and the um, Five of Wands. So what this is letting me know is that there is a need to do some reflecting. Pause for a cause. Um, to reflect on on the actions that you're taking as it pertains to overcoming obstacles in competition or um, you know if you're starting a new business or whatever the case may be um, there needs to be a moment for reflecting on the actions that you're taking to stand out or to over like how are you showing up as it pertains to conflict around you it definitely needs some reflecting here um, uh -oh. We got the four wands that wanted to show face. I didn't ask my question, but this could have to do with the relationship or home foundation. Um, Spirit, uh, what is coming to light under this full moon for Sagittarius? What is coming to light under this full moon for Sagittarius? What is coming to light under this full moon for Sagittarius? I do have a personal issue reaches resolution at the bottom of the deck as the of the Oracle as well. <coughs> Excuse me, Sag, and I do feel like that it is um, going to that is possible after this reflecting is done. What is coming to light for Sagittarius under this full moon? Thank you, Spirit. So we have the Two of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. And the Ten of Pentacles, I like it. Um, what's coming to light is this fact that, you know, that there is a lot on your plate. And uh, I feel like that you're going to be, you're going to see that this is going to become more manageable. I feel like that, I think that under this full moon in Cancer, Sagittarius, what has been perceived to be a lack of resources or a struggle in resources, I feel like that. You're, it's going to be illuminated that you're more abundant and more stable than you think that you are. You can handle everything that is on your plate. You're not drowning the way that you feel like you may be drowning. Yes, there's a need to bring some practicality into the situation, but you're not as far off as you may think or as you may feel. So the divine message from spirit from the universe, the divine message from the universe for this full moon in Cancer Spirit. What is it? This is for Sagittarius. Thank you. <laughs> the strength in the Page of Pentacles. So that's letting me know that um, <laughs> tap into not only is this control your attitude, um, 
control your, your your passion your spark i mean this is leo energy here and this is how you reach your full potential there's definitely a need to tame the beast within i feel like that once you gain control and um and you're able to um seven may be significant not only is this a seven year but the time right now is 7.34 in my time. And that is 7.7. But anyways, moving forward, you may need to look those numbers up. Um, but this right here is letting me know that once you figure and learn how to work with the beast within you to make it work for, uh, for you and not against you, um, that I feel like that you'll be... I don't know. I just feel like that you'll feel like you can tackle the world, even though you it may be... It's trial and error. Um, it's it, the page of pentacles is beside the strength card. So whatever new, whatever it is that you're learning new, it's going to require a lot of strength from you. But I feel like that it is going to become easier and manage like you're going to see it from an easier perspective once you allow yourself to, you know, I tell my my uh, children um, when when my daughter sees the police, she says that, oh, somebody was breaking the rules. Absolutely. And, you know, and, and, and usually I follow up with the, the, they haven't learned how to use their crazy for them yet. Because my family always calls me crazy. My sister even made a running joke that my daughter's first words were going to be, oh, my mommy's crazy. And so be it. It wasn't her first words. Thank God. But, you know, call me crazy. I don't give a flying fuck. Um, but I tell my daughter that they haven't learned to use their crazy for, uh, for them yet. And so their crazy works against them. Um, and that's what the message from the universe is. The very thing that people have called you crazy for. You, once you change the talk around that asset that you have. Um, I feel like that you can use that crazy for you and it will stop working against you and it'll help you plant this seed you see that pentacle in the page of pentacles is the seed and it has roots that actually wrap down towards her leg if you can see so this 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 thing is is going to get you places it's going to nurture you it's going to vitalize you um, but you just have to be willing to put in the you have to harness the beast and know when to nurture and know when to lead with the lion and when to allow the lion to follow you you know i tell people all the time my crazy is always in my back pocket don't make me pull it out you know what i'm saying that's my process of trying to learn to make my crazy work for me and not against me and this king of wands he's done just that he knows when to delegate a responsibility to that lion and he knows when to delegate a responsibility to the vulnerability in him this was a pretty prick uh, a pretty quick uh, full moon reading Sag. if you do like these messages we ask that you hit the uh, like button it does help get these messages out to other Sagittarians in need spirit what is the one thing that Sagittarius needs to be aware of under this new moon what is the one thing thank you spirit courtship <laughs> and mature man so there may be some type of mature man um <clears throat> Now, courtship, yes, uh, it could be love, but in this particular one, um, the Cupid has already, like, Cupid has not strung its bow yet. So, I don't feel as if this, this doesn't necessarily have to be love. So, what this is telling me, if this is the one thing that you need to be aware of, there may be a mature man that comes into your vicinity to try to make some sort of offer. Um, I wouldn't get too caught up emotionally in it. Um as I don't feel like love is available with this person. But let's um, do some clarify. Oh, temperance is at the bottom of the deck from this. So this will take patience. Okay, this is going to take patience. But this is the alchemist of the deck. This is about using 
the like learning how to incorporate your light and your dark there's something significant about this full moon in cancer for sagittarius that is incorporating the both light aspects and dark aspects the beast and the man the crazy and the non-crazy okay but let's get some i'm gonna pull this out right here <laughs> and there goes the moon card wow and the tower this Mm, yeah, this tower is definitely bringing in some sort of connection with this courtship. But let's clarify courtship. Can you please help Sagittarius understand this courtship a little bit more for the one thing that they should uh, that they should be aware of under this full moon in Cancer. Thank you, Spirit. Um, we've got the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, as well as the Ace of Cups. Wow. So this person is holding back their love. I do feel like this person is holding back. There, there is a love offer. There is some sort of love offer. The Wheel of Fortune here at the bottom. Um, yeah. Ooh, in the Two of Cups behind the Two of Swords. Absolutely. So there's definitely um, some sort of love offer. Um, this person has been holding back or making a decision as to whether act to actually make this love offer to you. Hmm, you can't see this. It's the Two of Swords. A courtship is definitely taking a turn. Um, I don't think this person is going to show all of their hands. However, I do feel like this person is um, making, I mean, this is Libra energy. Um, so I do feel like. There's going to be a decision made where if someone's been holding back, I feel like that this person is on is is at the precipice of making the decision to actually offer love. So if you've been courting someone and you're like, well, when the fuck are we going to take things to another level? I feel like that that's something to be aware of under this new full moon. I mean, and it could have to do with the mature man. Can you show me more on this courtship spirit? Thank you, spirit. We got the nine of pentacles. Wow. I'm just going to say this person is wealthier than you perceive them to be as well. There's definitely some strategy that this. Yeah. See, this person is on the precipice of making a choice. Um, <laughs> I just heard I'm lost without you I can't sing I cannot sing But y'all Y'all hope y'all know what I'm saying I can't be I don't know how it goes But that's what I'm hearing I'm lost without you Hmm This this four of pentacles is clarified by the nine of pentacles. Um, this is letting me know that this person is trying, like, this person is trying hard to hold on to their independence. But it's like, they, while they want to be independent and all of this good shit, they can't help but want you either. Um, I do feel like that this person is, like... They're more burdened, especially if you guys are in separation or if, like I said, this person has been holding back from you for sure. But um, this person is more burdened than you realize, um, way more burdened than you realize. And I feel like that this person is strategically trying to plan a way to come back in out of the code. Absolutely. Um, like whatever option this person made in the past or like whatever choice this person made in the past that caused them to hold back from you is, is burdensome. That's just, that's just that. All right, Sagittarius. <clears throat> Excuse me. Actually, let me get a closing message. 
Yes, I'm using the same Oracle deck, but let's get a closing message for Sagittarius. Spirit, what is the full moon and Cancer closing message for Sagittarius? Thank you. Surrender to the divine. Um, confidence is key to success. That goes more of that Leo energy. There's a there may be a significant Leo around you under this full moon. Um, we do have Taurus as well. Um, but this full moon is definitely asking you to surrender to the divine. Let go of these worries. Um, by where um, uh, unlimited spirituality, my girl. Um, she says you can't have faith and fear at the same time. Um, I I. I I'm split between that, but yes, that does hold a lot of truth, faith and fear. Um, if you have fear, then you are showing the divine that you don't have faith in them. Um, but I do feel like that there is a there is a need to surrender to the divine because whatever this situation is for you, Sagittarius, the divine has the inner workings of it. Um, what's being released, we have a major arcana and then um, the message from the universe, we have a major arcana and that's it. Oh, well, we also have the hermit here as well. This is what's coming to light. I got a vibration off of that. So there's definitely a need for some self-reflecting under this full moon. Um, but this is... The divine is all over the workings of this situation. And the best thing that you can do is know that you are to persevere forward. No matter what your resources look like. Because there's something better coming in under this full moon. But that can only come to fruition if you surrender and have faith into the divine. Alrighty Sagittarius. I pray that these messages provided you some guidance on your journey. If these messages did resonate, we would absolutely appreciate a thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, guys, let's choose peace. Love and light, Sag.